Hey fans, Strike King Pro Brent Chapman here, and I want to talk to you about a crankbait versus a swim bait. You know, it's March right now, a lot of fish are spawning, but down south those fish are wrapping up the spawn and moving offshore. And that's when a crankbait and a swim bait really excel. What happens after the bass spawn? The shad spawn get going on. And guess what? Both these baits mimic a shad. There's nothing better out there that, to do that. So what I've got in my hand here is I've got a Strike King 5XD and I've got a Strike King Rage Swimmer here, a 4.75 inch. The big differences in the two is the swim baits, they come at a variety of sizes, about five different sizes. So you can go to teeny tiny sizes to I believe a five inch version as well. And then, you know, the 5XD, you know, it's about a 12 to 15 foot diver. You could go to a deeper diving crankbait, a 6XD, 8XD, or even a 10XD if you want to get down there deeper, but your profile of your baits get bigger as well. So one of the big things about the, the swim bait is it allows you, if you want to fish a small bait, out deep you can get away with that smaller profile or if you want to fish it up shallower you can fish the swim bait as well you know the crankbaits traditionally you make a long cast throw it out there and you crank it and you get it to a maximum depth and hopefully it's ticking the bottom where a swim bait you can fish different water columns just by how much you let that bait sink so you know if i if i'm out there and i can see some fish on live scope that you know if i was throwing the crankbait in 15 foot of water and catching most of my fish on the bottom but i might see a school of fish that are down 10 foot deep i can see those on live scope i can throw that swim bait down there count it down to about 10 feet slowly retrieve it back keep it in that water column and sometimes pick those fish off as well so you know both these baits are very very effective they go hand in hand typically if i'm offshore fishing or fishing for schooling fish like that i'm going to have both these baits tied on the crankbaits come in a variety of colors you know 40 50 different colors you know everything under the sun the swim baits look just like you know the bait fish that they're feeding on shad alewives blueback herring bluegill something like that where the crankbaits you know there's everything under the sun and that's what i like is the swim baits i prefer in a little bit cleaner water you, know, you can get away on those bluebird skies but if you get you know some clouds or some stained water the crankbaits come in very effective as well because of the colors you can you can use the brighter colors you can use the chartreuse the chartreuse blue back something that really stands out in those as well both these baits are always on my deck in a post spawn period you know that you know march april may time frame when those fish are getting off the beds swim baits crankbaits one of my favorites